So this video will focus on trade, and before we get started, we must know some definitions, which is what this video is about. So I just wrote everything down, so just sit back, relax, and uh, learn the definitions. So the first definition is the opportunity cost, and it is the highest valued alternative. So pretty much, uh, let's say for example that you have two alternatives. One is to study for tomorrow's test, and... Uh, the, the second alternative is to go out skiing with your friends. If you choose to go out skiing, then the highest uh, valued alternative for you would probably be uh, uh, studying for tomorrow's test, which may lead to a good mark. And that is your highest valued alternative for gone. So it, opportunity cost is the highest valued alternative that you give up. So just forgot to put the for gone here. Or gone so it's the highest uh, valued alternative that you give up now variable opportunity cost is pretty much uh, it means that opportunity cost rises with extra production so here I had an, had an example to make more food we have to get more people from clothing to make food and then diminishing marginal products would set in uh, that means there's too much people it becomes less efficient and more people are needed to make one more unit of food and uh, we went through this in one of my past videos that uh, we have more people we can, we still make more but uh, the efficiency is uh, less is much worse than before and in this case opportunity cost rises for the for the for the clothing department because uh, the clothing department the opportunity for gone is making clothes right so then the opportunity cost rises uh, for the clothing department. Uh, constant opportunity cost pretty much means uh, opportunity cost stays the same with extra production. So this is a less realistic uh, less realistic definition. Uh, what, we, what I mean by that is that what we gain and what we give up staying the same no matter what changes are made just isn't realistic in the world that we live in. And here I have the formula in green for opportunity costs. Pretty much it's what we get what, or what we lose over what we gain. So for the variable opportunity cost, um, if uh, it were, what we lose is we lose people uh, making clothes. So uh, if we have, if we take a lot of people from the clothing department to make food, then uh, we, lo we lose a lot of food and what we gain is we're getting less and less. So then uh, we're pretty much taking a higher number and dividing by a number that's getting smaller and smaller and that's what causes the opportunity cost to rise so say this was two and this was uh, what we lose is two what we gain is two uh, we have one and then we take more people and uh, we take more people and what we lose is uh, rises to 10 and what we gain falls to uh, one and then the opportunity cost rises to 10. Now comparative advantage is pretty much all you need to know about that is who can produce at a lower cost. That's comparative advantage. Who can make uh, the same good at the lowest cost or at a, at a lower cost. Absolute advantage is all, all you need to know about that is who can produce more. Price for trade is uh, pretty much uh, anywhere between the opportunity cost is your price for trade. So for example, one country's cost for making a good is two dollars and other countries cost is uh, five dollars for the same good the trade price is between two dollars and five dollars and both countries will benefit if if a country offers six dollars for the country producing five dollars then the country could just produce their own good uh, if the country if the other country is lowballing the country that produces for two dollars with one dollar then that country can't recover their cost and they just won't sell now the last definition is specialization and that is be, uh, based on comparative advantage and the definition for that is that the country focuses on lower cost productions and trade for a good. So for, an example for this is that uh, the opportunity cost for growing potatoes in Idaho is less than anywhere else. So uh, Idaho specializes in uh, growing potatoes. So Idaho, uh, their uh, their, their productions of potatoes are the lowest compared to anywhere else. So they have a comparative advantage and they can produce the good at a lower cost than anyone else. So they specialize in growing potatoes and selling these potatoes to the, to the 
other places that cannot produce at us uh, at at such a low cost. And this is all I want to go through in this video. Uh, please keep please rate, comment, and subscribe if you uh, like these videos. It uh, really help. And I'll see you in the next video.